Good afternoon. Thanks again for joining me on another episode. In this week's episode, something a little bit different, I'm going to be doing the first review. So we've got a new bivvy here. It is a one-man bivvy. It's made by Cyprinus. Um, so it's the Cyprinus headquarters base uh, one-man bivvy, or base HQ as they sometimes advertise it. And also the overwrap system to go on top. So we'll pop that up and in this video I'll be covering off its assembly, uh, its parts, its specification, dimensions. So we'll get this up and then I'll give you an opinion on it as well. So there we go, that was the first time putting up this Cyprinus Base HQ One Man Bivvy. Um, all in all took about 10 minutes and like I say that's the first time that's been out of the bag so a really really simple and easy bivvy to put up. Um, very nice that everything does come in separate bags and they are really thick robust bags so you haven't got to worry about a peg or something piercing through there and leaving your bivvy exposed while you're storing it. So that's a very very nice feature. Uh, the ground sheet it comes with, very thick um, so yeah, a nice heavy duty ground sheet. Now I won't be using that in a situation like this today where I am pitched on gravel, but I'll pop it in there just so you can have a look and see how it's laid out inside. Uh, there was another clip just there which I sped up which showed the door coming down to a letterbox style. The door does come back completely. And obviously as you can see, you have the mozzie mesh panels as well. There are two of those at the back of the bivvy as well for improved ventilation and air through flow in the summer. So you can keep nice and cool in there all year round. PVC door clip onto the front so if you want those mozzie mesh side panels and back panels done up but you still want some visibility through the front in the winter but you don't want the rain coming in then one of those velcros onto the front nice and easily as well I'll slow those down and show you those going back on as well we've got the overwrap to go on but first of all we're going to get a bed chair inside and explore the bivvy a little more first view of the bivvy today is with all three front mozzie mesh panels exposed. This would be perfect for the summer, ideally letting maximum airflow through the bivvy. This is accompanied by two additional panels to the rear of the bivvy on either side. These are low level panels and again the doors roll back and are held in place underneath this lip with two elasticated toggles on either side. In addition to all of the different options you have with the mozzie mesh, the PVC doors, Bivy also has the ability to roll all of the front panels back, exposing it wide open in sort of a day shelter style. The giant peak will keep you well protected for any rain or heavy sun. Inside the Bivy there's plenty of room. So the bed chair in can easily stretch out. I'll catch you in 10. There really is an awful lot of room here inside. Uh, plenty of room here for tables, bags, and then obviously behind you, there's even more room behind the bed chair itself. I'm gonna roll this door down and show you the door in sort of a letterbox mode, and again with that PVC. And then we'll have one last look and round up spec, dimensions, and overall stats of the bivvy. So here we have the letterbox style door obviously fully adjustable to whatever height you want it, allowing them to stay warm in the winter. To attach the PVC door, there are two bits which allow you to roll up this main door panel, exposing the mozzie mesh underneath. Cleverly fit inside, another couple of buckles, keep it up and out of the way. PVC door itself, I'm guessing this could easily be packed down, still attached to the bivvy. Under in here, just have some low key velcro. Then stick down those sides. To cover the door, giving you a full clear window. More importantly, keeping you nice and dry. Thank you. 
Now I know there are a few other strength reviews done on this bivy online, and unfortunately I don't have storm conditions to test it. But this peak just here, aligned with the tension poles which run all the way round the bivy and down to the floor, make this bivy seriously strong. So you can see I can lean with my full body weight on the bivy, give it a shake, and it doesn't move. And I probably weigh some something near 14 stone. So, so there we go, all looks good so far. So the next thing we need to do is get the overwrap out of the bag and see how easy that is to get in position and see what differences it makes to the bivy. So the overwrap is super easy to put on, taking less than two minutes in total to get it on and pegged down. Now the peg points are very, very similar. And again, the pegs will come in really heavy duty bags. So that's, that's another nice feature of this overwrap. The overwrap is the same material, but we'll talk about the specs and the dimensions in just a sec. Two features, the rod retaining straps, the same as it has underneath. It has two of those on the front and two of those on the back. So it makes it perfect if you're using a spot rod or a marker rod. Uh, and also it makes it super easy for when you're retying your rigs. The doors on, on, on this overwrap match up. So you've got the two panels on the back, which reveal the mozzie mesh, and obviously the two mozzie mesh panels on the side. The door itself, when open, you can see there is a real, real space in the front here, which is obviously given by the peak. Now that gives plenty of room to store muddy boots out of the way and out of the main bivy compartment so you don't get everything messy inside. Now we'll zip that back up. Another cool feature is that if you want to leave the inside of this open, or at least the door open, the PVC panel uh, does fit directly onto this front door as well. So that's something else which you can do with this bivy. Now with the bivy up and the overwrap on, as you can expect, it is absolutely pitch black in here. I mean, in the day or night, um, I can't see that I'm gonna get any trouble sleeping in here at all. Um, quickly becomes evident, to be honest, how much extra room this overwrap gives from that peak. Um, it's really quite a significant difference. I think you're probably going to be talking at least sort of a, an additional 50 centimetres of extra extra space to the front of the bivy, which is great. Um, the inside of the bivy, I don't know if you can see it because it is really dark in here, but it is single skinned, but the in, inside of the skin is black. So even without this overwrap, I did notice that it gave it a real blackout effect inside, which is absolutely lovely for those long drawn out summer nights when you do want to go to bed early and uh, get a few hours sleep before the rods start screaming off. Okay, so overall I have got to say I am really impressed with the bivy. I haven't spent a night in it yet. I know that's going to be where the real test comes in. We need some stormy weather or something so I can really give all of those seams a proper robust test. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit you with the spec um, of, the, of the tent itself. So the width of this is 263 centimetres. The depth is 230 and it's 130 centimetres high. Uh, more than enough room for me and my bed chair and anything else I was bringing with me on 24, 48 hour session with ease. So long weekends in France, I should think you'd be absolutely fine with this one. Um, the hydrostatic head of the material, it is made of Hydrotech fabric. Um, so it has a slightly different feel to it, but it's very, very nice. It's a 10,000 hydrostatic head and the overwrap again boasts the same 10,000 hydrostatic head just there. The poles, like I said, it was very, very rigid very sturdy so they are super strong poles they have like a black powder coat finish on those as well which is very very nice you've got the front and rear retaining rod straps which again is a thought of facility feature on, on there it's, it's absolutely brilliant it's something that you don't get on some of the, the basic models uh, so yeah that's that's a, that's a real selling point for me to have that on there you've got the mozzie mesh panels on the front and back and as we already checked out there they are again boasted on the overwrap system as well really heavy duty ground pegs uh really heavy duty ground sheet as well so obviously if you're, if you're on grass or somewhere soft where you need to put those down uh, you can put those down confidently knowing that your bed chair legs or table legs aren't going to pierce through that ground sheet with any ease um, 
one additional feature, which I do really love, is the oversized bags. Because I've just put the over wrap away and it was so easy to put in there and there's so much room left in the bag. So you don't have to worry about rolling up really tight like you do with a sleeping bag or something like that to squeeze it back into the bag. It goes back in with ease. So after those long sessions when you're knackered and you've caught hundreds and hundreds of fish, you know, you don't have to worry too much about how hard this is to pack down and put away because it is really, really easy. All in all, I am more than happy with this. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll pop the link to this in the description just below. Thanks for tuning into this video, something a little bit different. I know we normally go out and uh, catch fish on these, on these videos, but if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment down below. If you've got any questions about this, then please do fire away because I will be out testing it again on a 24 hour session very, very soon. And uh, hit the little subscribe button, lets us know that you're watching the channel and it'll keep you updated when new videos drop every week or every fortnight, depending on how much I manage to get out. But thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.